For anyone who is a fan of James Bond, or even if you are just someone who is concerned with the continual revisionist history that is coming out of Hollywood, then you should be very concerned with what is going on right now with James Bond, because we just got some new details about the future of this iconic cin cinematic hero. We got some details yesterday of some very shocking things that they are planning to do with the future of James Bond, so let's go ahead and get right into it and see what is going on here. So, um... Have our worst James Bond fears just been confirmed? Team Bond promises a 007 reinvention. Terrible news for diehard fans. Now, this is, of course, something that we should all be very worried about right off the bat because we know what Hollywood is continuing to do. They are in this period of reinvention. They are in this period of re revising epic heroes, iconic heroes, heroes that we have grown up with, heroes that we love, and we have seen this time and time again. We've seen it with Halo, we've seen it with Luke Skywalker, we just saw it with Buzz Lightyear. Of all characters, Buzz Lightyear is one of the characters that Hollywood feels like they need to reinvent, reinvent. And a lot of this is because they're trying to destroy manhood. They're trying to destroy max masculinity. And this is why they continue to go after all these different male heroes. So who will be the next James Bond? And one of the most, most asked questions in the Hollywood ecosystem and many news sites proclaim they have the inside track on the casting news. So, there, it's Tom Hardy. No, it's Idris Elba is the, is the odds-on favorite. Wait, Tom Hiddleston is clear, clearing his schedule for the gig. They're all wrong, says veteran Bond producer Barbara Broccoli. And no one, nobody knows it better than Broccoli, who controls the franchise's future. Now, what she has to say here is worrisome. Nobody's in the running, Broccoli confirmed during a London event honoring both Broccoli and her brother, who are uh, basically in charge of the franchise. It will take two years before the next James Bond film goes into production, she, she said. That's to be expected since the time between Bond films has grown wider of late because of the pandemic and everything else. And then this is what she decided to say, okay? And this is very uh, eyebrow raising. We're working out where to go with him. We're talking that through. There isn't a script, and we can't come up with one until we decide how we are going to approach the next film. Because, really, it's a reinvention of Bond. We are reinventing who he, he is, and that takes time. Now, the one possible thing, or uh, positive thing that we can take out of this is that they are going with him, from what it sounds like. So, James Bond will probably remain a male. But... As we already saw with No Time to Die, they are already starting to deal with some of the things about James Bond that doesn't really fit into contemporary society, such as some of his more masculine traits, some of his things that would be labeled as toxic masculinity in this soy-filled society that we are living in, which is exactly what they want. They want weak men, okay? This is one of the things that Hollywood is continuing to push. It's one of the things that the education system is continuing to push, is that we need to create weak men because weak men creates a society that can be easily governed, easily controlled controlled and that is exactly what they want so james bond weakening james bond making him more who knows more soy that is definitely a possibility maybe they'll, they'll go in some other directions as well maybe they'll make him trans who knows who knows what they are planning to do with, with james bond but whatever they are planning to do is not going to be james bond they don't they don't have any plans to continue to make him the character that he has always been. We've already seen that with No Time to Die and some of the interviews that came out surrounding No Time to Die where they were already dealing with some of the things about James Bond and how he is apparently too toxic. His masculinity is too toxic for society and all of these ridiculous things. So it's going to be interesting to see where they go with the character of James Bond. That is all that we have as far as the details for this at the time, but it is something that we should definitely put on our radar as a... a a subject of concern so let me know what you think about this in the comments below please leave a like subscribe all that good stuff where do you think they will go with the future of james bond hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon bye